on to the next portion of the trip. So just left Florida, had an amazing time down there, and now I'm driving to Kentucky. So got about nine hours left of a 12 and a half hour drive. Um, just going nice and easy though, no traffic yet, and uh, should be a nice smooth trip. So I'm looking forward to get there. I'm gonna be camping for another week and hopefully finding some elk. So um, I don't know for sure, because I've never been to this area and um, I just did a little bit of research online to see what I could find, but it sounds like they're around, so hopefully I can find some, and if not, I'm sure I'll find something. There's always birds around somewhere, and I'm looking forward to just checking out a new state. I've never been to Kentucky, so that'll be exciting, and I'm also really hoping for some autumn colors, but I don't know if I'm gonna be too early, too late. Uh, I'm not really sure where I'm going, how it's gonna look, so we'll find out when I get there, and I will um, take you along on the trip. All right, morning one out here in Kentucky. Uh, had a good night's sleep. It rained a ton, so I kind of woke up a little late because I knew it would be pretty cloudy this morning, but it does look like it's starting to break up, which is nice. Uh, talked to one of the, the locals that was camping here last night, and they said they haven't seen any elk, so that doesn't bode very well, but um, you know, I have a lot of areas I can check out and travel around this particular area, so I'm not too concerned yet. Um, you know, he said that you know, 10 years ago, though, he'd come here and you said you'd have to wait for elk to cross the road. They were everywhere. So um, I guess it used to be a great area, but isn't quite anymore. So we'll see. Uh, but in any case, you can see back there, it's just a beautiful area. Gorgeous scenery up here. The autumn colors are starting to kick in. And no matter what, I'm going to have fun. If I can't find the elk, I'm sure I'll find some birds or something. Um, he did say that he saw some black bear, so that was cool. That'd be nice to find as well. So I'm sure there's some stuff around, and I'm kind of excited to just go explore this morning. So let's get to it. Hey guys, it's uh, middle of the day. Uh, just got a little bit of work done on the laptop, sitting out here at the campsite, and just wanted to update you. Day one, not much of a success. Actually, no success at all. Didn't find any elk. Um, I was only out this morning, though, for uh, maybe three hours or so, something like that. I did find a couple of spots with some kill deer and eastern meadowlark, and what else? Um, bluebirds. Eastern bluebirds, saw some of those, so. I didn't get any photos because I was kind of on the mission to find the elk, but I did mark those spots down. So if in the next day or so I don't find any elk, I can kind of head back there and see if I can make some cool photos with those because they are out in these wide open fields. And as long as it's clear, I should get some amazing early morning or late evening light. So anyway, that's the update for now. No luck, but I'm about to head out in a little bit and go do a little bit more scouting, driving around. I'm going to drive a little bit further than I did this morning 
and probably do a little less hiking. I'll just stay on the roads today and just see if I can cover a little bit more ground, see if I can find something. So um, hopefully it works a little bit better, but you never know, you know, even if I don't find anything, it's really just fun. I'm enjoying exploring this new area, seeing some new habitat and uh, just kind of camping out, enjoying nature, beautiful, beautiful fall weather right now. So I'm loving that as well. So it's been a joy already and hopefully I can find these elk cause that would make it next level. Some kill deer up here along the side of the road. I'm gonna see if I can make a move on them. There's also a lot of uh, Eastern meadow larks flying around out here in this field, as well as some sparrows. So, let's see what I have an option for. I have the kill deer up here to my left. Oh, and there's some to the right. Okay, got a few options on these kill deer. Wide open fields here, but these kill deer, of course, love the uh, gravel, so. That's why they're hanging out along there. And I'm trying to walk as close as I can before I lay down. Ah, see, I just flushed these ones right in front of me here. There go the others over there. And the light's really good right now too. All right, I think there's some more over here. Yeah, there are. And I can use this cover the short grasses cover to get a little bit closer. Uh, I think he sees me already. He's on the move. Alrighty. Let's see if I can continue to get closer. There's some water over here too, which could look cool. Might get a reflection. Oh, there's this guy. He's gonna be, these guys are gonna be backlit. All right, I'm gonna get real low now. Let's see if I can get a shot. All right, there's one. All right, so lighting is cool. I'm on aperture priority auto ISO. I got my exposure comp down a little bit. So I'm gonna lock focus on him. Like that recompose put them in the top left of the frame i don't want to go that way because i don't want all that light up top so i'm going to go this way just have him kind of stand out and then he's just like in this spotlight of sun looks really really cool yeah that's awesome nice all right the skews are getting me that's always fun all right there's another one Right up here. Let's see if I can get him. There he is. Right in the grass. There we go. Got him. Don't know if he's going to stand out as well, though. And then I got this light rock in the foreground. Where'd the other guy go? The other one's moving away a little bit. Right. Let's see if I can move to the side a little bit and get him better. All right, so this guy right here, there he is in focus. Oop, turn it the other way. Ah, shot right when he moved. Yeah, not working out much anymore, so. Just wrapped up a nice day of scouting. Didn't find much. Ended up photographing a few kill deer right at the end of the night, uh, which was fun. But uh, light was really good for them. But no elk still. Um, gonna get up a bit before sunrise tomorrow. Get out there, do some more scouting, and then uh, in the evening as well. So all day tomorrow mostly. I'll do some scouting, and then uh, if I don't find anything, probably wrap it up and head home. So. Uh, but beautiful country out here, it's a gorgeous fall night, clear skies, getting nice and cool. The group that was camping right next to me left me some firewood, I didn't even bring any. And so I got a nice fire going right now. 
uh, definitely completes the camping experience and just enjoying the night. Got to hear some uh, coyote uh, howling off in the distance too, which was really cool. So uh, just gonna wait for the sky to get a little dark, watch some stars and then get to bed and get up nice and early. So that's the plan. Hey, good morning. Day two here in Kentucky and still zero elk. Um, I think I'm probably going to cut the trip short. Uh, it just, there's not much at all around here. I haven't even found many birds worth working with. Um, I saw my first two white-tailed deer, so I'm barely even seeing any of them. And so, yeah, there's just not a lot going on here, uh, which is fine. Uh, that's kind of how it goes when you don't have any direct personal intel from somebody or up-to-date stuff you know I just done a little bit of research online and I talked to one guy that was camping alongside of me for one night and he said you know if I'd come here a few years ago or maybe a little bit further back uh, he was just saying how there would be elk everywhere he said you'd have to wait to let the herd cross the road and stuff like that but I guess hunting pressure has kind of taken those numbers down or where the herd has moved elsewhere um, I'm not really sure but in any case uh, definitely does not seem to be here or if they are in this general area I just don't know where so uh, that's kind of how it goes though you know if you don't have that direct intel or info from somebody then uh, it's kind of uh, you know a crapshoot to see what you're gonna get and so I knew that coming down I was hoping I was gonna get lucky based on the little bit of reading I had done and turns out I didn't, but so be it. No worries, I'll just cut the trip short, head home, get a little bit more work done, do some more scouting and shooting uh, in my area, and that's probably how this trip is gonna go. So I did get to see a new place, got a couple of nights, nights camping, beautiful sunrise this morning, so looking forward to that. And uh, maybe I'll get lucky this morning and find something. If I do, I'll stay another night, but um, as it seems so far, I doubt that's going to happen. So, thanks for tagging along. Uh, sorry this wasn't too much of an exciting shooting trip, but this is how wildlife photography goes sometimes. And hopefully next time I'll do better.